Hello everyone, Ron here from LTL Tutoring Central, and this week I'm talking about studying for an exam. In this part of the world, high school students will soon be heading into their exams, and these are a few pointers to help you out. So if you're a student, pay attention. If you're a parent of a high school student, uh, you can help your child if you know these uh, tips, or anyone writing an exam, because they'll help anyone. Just before I get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell. If you have any questions, if you're watching on YouTube, you can ask underneath. There'll be a link to the website, so you can always email me as well. Let's get to it. You want to review your notes and start with the main points before you return and look at the material in detail. In this way, you'll be able to identify the sections that you know very well and the sections you don't know very well. You want to spend more of your time on, on the areas you don't know. Uh, it's not the most comforting, but that's where you need the attention. So you want to divide your time in the most productive way. Set up a schedule so that you can block off time for each of your courses or each section of your courses that you need to study so that, that you can ensure you have enough time to cover all the material necessary. Having a plan, having a schedule and writing it down makes a big difference because otherwise it often becomes, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, and tomorrow never comes. Listen closely to the teacher's tips about what might be in the exam or what will be in the exam. Teachers are often very good at the high school level uh, at letting students know what's going to be on the exam. Sometimes you'll even get some review sheets. Other times they might just tell you which chapters they're going to cover, uh, which plays or novels might be on the exam or whether they're going to be looking at the entire semester or whether they're just going to be testing on the second half of the semester. But having that knowledge will be very helpful in terms of preparing yourself and blocking off that time we talked about. Never assume that something won't be on the examination and skip over it for that reason. Knowledge is key. So if you don't know and if your teacher won't say, then you have to prepare for everything. But you can ask your teacher uh, if there's a section or, or something that you don't think will be on the examination, you, you can ask her, him or her. And uh, if your teacher lets you know, that's great. If not, you just have to prepare for everything. Don't skip over it just because you assume maybe it won't be on the examination. Be sure to know what kind of exam it's going to be. Is it going to be an essay question or a couple of essays? Is it going to be multiple choice? It could be true false questions, short answer questions, matching, fill in the blanks. There's lots of possibilities, but having an idea of what kind of exam it will be will help you in terms of studying. So if you know that you're going to be uh, answering lots of multiple choice questions or true false questions, you need a lot of facts. If you're writing an essay, you need to look into how you can expand upon the material or explain the material. So you have a slightly different way of studying for different kinds of exams. High school teachers normally let you know. They often either tell you, make a note of that, or they'll give you a handout that gives you some idea of what's going to be on the exam. Look at it closely, read it closely, pay attention in class so that you have all the information you need before starting your studying, which should be happening now, uh, and uh, also for when you go into the exam, of course. When the next semester begins, remember that studying for the final exam begins on the first day. You've heard me say this before if you watched some of my other videos or read my blogs. Don't wait to start studying for the final exam. It seems strange to start on the first day, but here's the trick. If you have been doing this using a reading method, using rotating notes to study daily and weekly, you will soon be prepared without a lot of extra work as the exams approach. In other words, you will know most of the material so well anyway that you don't have to do a lot of extra studying. It's always good to do a little more to brush up on facts or details that you've forgotten. But really, throughout the whole semester or throughout the whole year, whatever system you're in, if you are constantly reviewing, 
studying, previewing, practicing questions, using a proper reading method, as I've talked about before, like the SQ3R. You can watch some of those videos or read the uh, previous blogs to uh, brush up on that if you've forgotten. You'll be ready. You'll be ready for pop-up quizzes. You'll be ready for tests and you'll be ready for the final exam. So don't forget to get started as soon as possible. So there you have it. A few tips for studying for an exam. Uh, if you started on the first day, good for you. And uh, But these are tips that will help at the very end as well. So make sure to use them. Make sure to review some of my other videos. Uh, another tip that I should have mentioned was looking back at past tests and exams, of course. And always practice the questions that were difficult for you. We like to practice the ones we know because they make us feel good. <laughs> and that's okay to a point. But you want to spend more time on the areas that are difficult or that you've forgotten because if that's on the test, if that's on the exam, you might run into trouble. So make sure to do that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel. I click on the notification bell. Leave a question or comment if you, if you like or like the video. I hope you do. Check out some of the other videos and blogs, particularly about tests or exams. I have a few, uh, especially videos right now. And uh, I will put a link for the blog below and a link for the website. You can also get a hold of me via email through the website. Uh, check out the online courses. Uh, there's so many things you can do. Do not panic about the exam. Relax, know your stuff. Having the knowledge, being prepared, that will reduce your stress. That will help you when you're sitting in the exam room. So I don't know if you can have fun with the exams, but try to enjoy the exams. Try to relax and show you know your stuff. It's Ron from LTL Tutoring Central. That's it for this week. Uh, don't forget to check out the blog. It's different, uh, quite a bit different this week. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.